Hello, this is Swan M from Nail Stand for Fun. Today I want to show you how to create this beautiful pastel mani that I posted on my Instagram yesterday. I'm going to show you a quick and easy tip to apply all those beautiful colors making a marbling effect using your nail stamper. Alright? Please stay tuned. For this mani I used a lot of colors. All of them are china glaze. First I applied China Glaze White on White to all my nails as my base color. For the beautiful pastel colors, I use Lemon Fizz, Electric Beat, Sweet Hook, Shocking Pink, and Grass is Lime Greener. Okay. For this, you will need a piece of plastic baggie, or you can use a piece of paper or a small um, dish. Whatever you have on hand is okay. And what we do, we're going to apply the polish on the plastic baggie. Okay, you're going to apply dots up all the colors to create a marble effect. Okay, using your stamper you're going to stamp down on all those colors and they will blend together. Gently pick up and there you see all the colors have blended together. Now we're going to apply this to the nail. You have to be very gentle. It will be slippery, so be careful. And gently roll on the nail. See how cool is that? You see I'm missing a spot, but don't worry. Just go over with some blue until you have completely covered your nail. See how quick and easy that is? Alright, I'm going to clean up to do my other finger. Okay, let's apply the polish. I was seeing a technique that um, is used for marbling that you use a plastic sandwich bag and what they do is instead of applying it on the back you apply the dots of polish onto your nail and then you take the plastic baggie and wrap it around and it makes a marbling effect and I thought why don't I put the dots on the plastic bag and I don't know take my stamp to see what happens see if I can stamp that on my finger and it worked Okay, here we go again push down and there you see see how easy we're going to gently roll on see how pretty and let's say you don't like the design you want more green just go over with your colors you see and fix any spot you want a little bit more green, a little bit more color. See, it's all up to you. It's a very fun technique. I haven't used it for a while. Now, before stamping, I apply a coat of top coat. Let that dry. This creates a smooth surface for me to stamp with. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'll come back. Okay, see how beautiful that looks? All the colors blended together. It almost looks like a watercolor mani too. I've been seeing that a lot lately. Um, it kind of looks like that, you can say. <laughs> um, but it's very fun. Now we're going to, now our top coat has dried and we're going to our nail stamping part. And for that part, I'll be using Mash Plate 56. 
and China Glaze Modify Me. These polishes are very good for stamping. The only thing they will stay in your stamper. But don't worry, that will go away by time. See how thick it is and, and how opaque? They work great. Okay, apply your polish to your plate. Gently swipe. Pick up. Now we're going to try to center the nail on the image and press down. And there you go. See how beautiful that looks? Okay. Let's do the other nail. Let me clean up my stamper. Apply your polish. Gently swipe. Pick up. Center your nail, push down, and there you go. See how pretty? See, very, very easy to do. I'm going to clean up and come back. Okay, there you go, I cleaned up. Um, while cleaning up, I just noticed that I was missing a little bit of the lines up there. I'm very sorry about that, but you can always go back, um, fill it in, you know, stamp, stamp a line right there, and it will look good as new. Okay, now to finish it off, apply your top coat. After you applied your top coat, you're done. And here's the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I really enjoy making them for you and sharing you tips and tricks of nail stamping. Remember, you can always find me on Instagram. Thank you so much for your love and support. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.